YouTube, what's going on? YC Imaging here with another daily vlog. And today, I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> well, uh, I know for sure that I have to wrap up a few edits for music videos and just like promotion projects. And then I know in a little bit I have to get some food because I'm starving. Hey, come back, Mason. I have to grab some food in a second because I'm starving, so that'll probably be in the next hour or so. But other than that, I really have no idea. Um, maybe a pretty chill day for me. Uh, it's actually still muggy out. It's pretty drizzly, rainy. And it's not much to do, man. Other than be in and watch movies and game and surf the internet. So um, if this vlog is not as interesting, you can just blame it on that reasoning alone. But um, yeah, man, I'm going to take you with me. And uh, we're gonna see what this day holds. Hopefully we don't get a copyright strike. <laughs> now we're headed over to get some food. I think we're actually about to go get some barbecue. I'm excited because I'm starving. And I really wish that it would stop raining because it's it been raining for like I'm going. a whole week. I think every single vlog that I've done since I've started doing daily vlogs, it has been raining, which is kind of <laughs> crazy. Like I wish it would just stop. It's supposed to rain the majority of next week also. Chris, if it's foggy, then you put it on hot or cold. It's what foggy? What are you talking about? The, the front, the wood sheet. I just put oh, it on. Oh, you got those pushed away. No. So it doesn't matter what temperature? No, it pumps out cold here. <laughs> has not been the most interesting today. Oh, let me make sure this mic is on. <laughs> this is actually like my first time I've had a mic, so I always have to make sure it's on because I went through a couple times and I had no audio for some of my shots and it was so depressing because I felt like I dropped like so much knowledge. But um, yeah, I know my vlog has not been the most interesting today because I didn't do much um, and that's just how it's gonna be sometimes. So I'm gonna use this time to talk to you all about a topic um i I've, i review my vlogs of course and um i'm starting to realize that there isn't enough talking in them um it's like i can give you all angles all day i like i'm a music video director like that's what i do i can give you b-roll shots all day and it looks cool it's, it's definitely good filler footage for the vlog but it still needs some sort of content so if i find my vlog lacking i'm just gonna pick a certain topic and i'm gonna reflect on it to you all and you know Hopefully, it'll be a better vlog. So today, I want to briefly touch on uh, what I do for a living, which is uh, selling art in the substance of music videos, uh, online media marketing, and uh, graphic design and stuff like that. And I want to teach you all how you can make money doing the same thing. Um, I know there are lots of up-and-coming directors and graphic designers, photographers, um, and artists. I mean, anything. I, I'm sure it's a lot of people out there who sell art. Well, they want to sell art, they're getting into it, and they don't really know where to start out with it. So, um, I'm going to give you just a couple of tips on what you can do to make a living off of what you do um, as far as selling art or making videos or whatever you do, anything. Um, so, in this day and age, the internet is your best friend, man. I mean, the best thing to do with it is to really take advantage of all the resources on it. Um, when I started making music videos, I wasn't making much of any money from it. Uh, I think the first music video I ever got paid for, I got paid 150 bucks, and that was like so, um, like that was, that was big for me. Like to realize that I could make money doing what I love to do was just amazing for me. So, um, yeah, man, it's like you're not gonna, you're not gonna make a living off of what you're doing instantly. Well, uh, a primary living off of it anyway. So the first thing I want to tell you all to do is once you get rid of the pride that you have, you will have a, a much more successful time uh, making money off of what you do 
Um, and with that being said, what I'm really speaking of is reaching out, reaching out to, to, to artists or businesses or whoever your primary consumer is. That's the, the, that's like the first thing that you need to do. You really need to sit down and identify who's going to buy your product and you need to, you need to think about why they're going to buy your product. So with that being said, um, why, why do you buy things for people? You got to really think about it in that aspect. Um, why do you buy things for people? You like what they do, obviously. You like the way they suck. You like the way they, they, you like the way they present it to you. You may not so much like the personality of the person or business that's giving it to you, but I mean, product speaks for itself. So, I mean, first of all, you have to really identify who wants what you want, uh, what you're selling. So if you, if you do music videos, artists, um, the first thing to do is to get on the internet, Twitter, Instagram, Google, and just search artists in your area. I'm sure you may already know a lot of artists in your area if you shoot music videos. Um, so, I mean, just reach out to them. A lot, of, uh, a lot of artists won't have what you want to get paid in the beginning, but, I mean, if you're really trying to full-time it, then you really have to take what you get uh, early on in it. So, um, so take on a, a, couple, a couple of projects that aren't really paying you that much, but they're getting you some type of money. If you're doing graphic design, um, do, do, a couple, do a couple personal graphics. You don't really have to do graphics for artists, but you can, like... Uh, you can you can look at your like your favorite rap artist and you can make a cover for them, and I'm not saying that they're gonna pick it up, but you'll you'll have product to show potential clients that may come up to you, and I mean if you don't have product to show people, then it's like oh, okay, well how do how do I know that you can perform or do this task? You know what I mean? So you need product. So I would say the first thing to do is to really just start producing. Um, don't really look at the money. Don't really look. Don't really go into it looking for the money. I mean, of course, that's the initial goal of it, but early on in, it's not going to be a lot of it. So you really got to take the time out to really identify your audience, build up your portfolio, and um, work the internet. I mean, you really got to work the internet. Uh, do uh, Of course, like in this day and age, um, physical promotion is it, it's definitely uh, viable and it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely a necessity, but the internet is so much more powerful, I believe. That's just me, though. Um, I believe the internet is such a much more powerful thing. Like, um, of course, the impact that you make meeting a person is can be so much more uh, can be so much more believable, and um, is you you can never really match the effect of personally meeting someone. But um, the internet, man, it's it's a lot of opportunities that on the internet you're, that you're never gonna face in real life, just because you can't really get to these places where these people are, um, and uh, you really gotta work the internet. Honestly, you really gotta work the internet. The internet is your best friend right now. Um, you gotta use the hashtags, Google, anything. If you're looking for rap artists, you need to go on Instagram. You type in uh, where you gotta think about where the artists are gonna be at. Where do artists post their music at? SoundCloud. Um, where else do they do? Um, you got SoundCloud, you got live mixtapes. Just think about where these people are and what hashtags they're using. If you go on Instagram and you search the hashtag database, you'll run into millions of people that you're never going to see in your life. You can directly contact them there. And if you're trying to sell graphics to them, you can, you know, hit them up. Hey, I really like your music. Hey, I would, I'd be interested in doing some graphics for you. Or, hey, do you have an need for graphics? You know what I mean? So you really just got to get out of that shell and get away from that uh that pride you know what i mean because I, I i know myself i had a lot of it uh coming in early so you really just gotta like just go out there and do it if you if you're selling photography um there are a lot of like uh say you want to do wedding photography craigslist is a good place for you um there are a lot of like wedding uh ads on there where people may need a photographer a photographer for their wedding you can reach out to them and um you can say hey do photography you know that's a good place for it um you want to do modeling uh you want to do model photography modelmayhem.com is a good place to find models uh who will potentially need photography um if you go on model mayhem they have like a search bar and it'll uh it'll show you models in the area that you're in or close to it and you can just hit them up on there you know you can you know hey 
I do. I'm a photographer. You know, let's go take some pics. You know, it's just, that's a good spot for you. All right. So I feel like I'm just like rambling at this point. Um, this topic is so broad. It's like I can sit down right here and talk to you all for like 30 minutes and really give you in depth tips on it. But I just want to briefly touch on the subject. Um, I mean, the best advice that I can give to anyone who's trying to make money off of selling art is don't go in and looking for money. I know it sounds weird and this topic is about how to make money off of what you're doing, but um once you once you do it for a certain amount of time, um it it'll something will click inside of you, honestly, like not even lying to you. Something will click inside of you and it will tell you, "Hey, all right, I'm to the point now where I need to really start making money off of this and I no longer need to build a portfolio. I no longer need to do cheap things for artists. I no longer need to do free things for people. You know what I mean? Um, and once you get that initial spark inside of you, then this is when you know that you have jumped over that fence of being a beginner or entry level artist, um, into whatever you're doing, um, whether that be illustrations, graphic designs, video shoots, um, being a model photographer, a wedding photographer, um, not even joking, you will have this initial spark inside of you, like no lie, it's happened for me and every single other director that I work with. Um, once you get that spark inside of you and you know that you have jumped that hurdle of being an entry level or beginner, then this is where you will know when you want to upcharge and um, yeah, man, that's just going to be, it's just, it's just going to be so evident inside of you. I'm telling you, I'm not even lying, not even joking to you at all, but um, yeah, man, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the talk that I had. I will leave all of the links of things that I was talking about in the description as far as like the websites that you can go to, Model Mayhem. I'm sure you all know of Craigslist. Uh, I'm sure you all have Instagram, Twitters, and <laughs> all of the social media sites. But um, those are two sites as far as uh, photographers. That will be your best friend, honestly. Um, and graphic designers, uh, Instagram is going to be your best bet. Honestly, because you can upload every single piece of your work there. Um, same goes for artists. You can really upload a lot of your stuff there for people to see it. Um, so Instagram will really be your best friend. And uh, as far as vide videographers, uh, Instagram is also a, gr a great place too. Because you can also post your work there and find artists there. And everybody's on these sites, man. Literally every single person. You find the hashtag that's going to go with these people that you're selling stuff to. You search it, you find people who need it, you contact them. You get out of that shell of pride and ego, and you just go out there and you go for it. And I, I promise you, it will be so worth it. Um, but uh, yeah, man, that was just my brief touching on how to uh, make money off of art. And if you all have any in-depth questions on this topic, feel free to leave a comment in the comments section. And um, I promise you, I'll reply to anybody. Uh, just, you know, I will contact you. I'll reply. I'll let you know um, what I do if you have any in-depth questions on it. And, um, yeah, man, I'm going to close this vlog out right here. So if you like it, make sure to like it. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe. And um, make sure to check my vlog out tomorrow because I have one coming. Um, yeah, appreciate you. Peace. Thank you.